Hello, it's Sarah. Look what I did. This is the casserole. I'm going to take the lid off and just show you the lid. But I did this. I guess it took me over the last couple days. Um, I'm keeping my jelly prints inside it. And I just wanted to share. I am going to do the tissue box. I'm going to come up with a pattern. Why don't you guys, anyone who's interested in doing me doing a walkthrough with you for this tissue box we have four sides so maybe pick four things that you'd like to see and I can't guarantee you um, that I can even draw it or do it um, we could do like an all-over fish scene or something like that all right let me sh I have micro beads slipping all around so yeah this is this is big right and I think I got a little carried away with the mixed media part. When I look at my cat, um, and I mean, again, I'm feeling this out. This year is the year of me trying to figure out my style. So, and I'm whispering a little because it's late. Um, but this cat, this was the piece that um, Diane Salter has on her blog. And I was noticing like there's really no extra stamping or stenciling on here. That wasn't part of the process for her. Um, and I did a lot of that, like, I kind of considered this a mixed media piece and stamped and stenciled and you see my little circles for my bottle caps and stuff. So I'll take you through each square. Um, and I'm not sure, I think that makes it too busy because this kind of reminds me of like a quilt or um, maybe even stained glass. So uh, let me, let me just, all the, the hearts. Are your basic hearts. I used a punch and um, punched out some hearts and you know laid them across. The hardest part was figuring out how many squares I wanted and what was going in each square. Like I kind of got an idea of what I wanted to put in them. Anywho, very basic. I just used pink jelly print paper for my hearts. This is super cool. I'm so glad. I only had a little piece of this red left. I think it's red, orange, and yellow or something. And I stamped the Diane Reevely, um, what is, I'm pretty sure, uh, it's here. This one. Isn't that Diane Reevely? Yep. I used this, and I'm so glad I did. It was so cool. Um, so yeah, I, I did a lot of mixed media. This is that dimensional paint. This is copper, and they're kind of pointy. They didn't really round out for me too well. Um, so, but little stickles, you know me, I gotta add my stickles. And um, I, on this piece, I pretty much used my, um, to shade everything, I used my brown big brush. So I kind of, once I finished putting everything, all the flat media down, I just, I didn't use any Mod Podge on this one or anything. I used all gel, my matte medium, I should say, not gel, this, um, my Liquitex matte medium. And I just coated the whole thing with a coat of that, and then I went, um, but I did shading with that, and you can kind of smudge it with your finger. It's really fun. Um, so that's the hearts. And then I love my son. I just love his little face or her. Kind of looks like a her. Um, I sketched that after it was on here. I drew it with this black pencil. Not that one. Um, I have this. It's called like an extra dark something or other. Hold on. It's, a, it's actually a sketching pencil. Um, this one, extra black. This wasn't it though. General's Layout Extra Black, number 555. I don't really know much about them, but I just literally like sketched it. And I got the idea, well, obviously we've seen moon faces before. That's not new. But I have this little moon, and I liked like the narrow, this is a, paper, a clay mold. But I like the narrow and then the wide nose, so see how I did that a little bit? And then it was kind of like smoochy lips, so I just did, but I wanted to do like the um, 
cheeks make it more like um, you know ancient looking or something and I gave them wrinkly forehead and stuff and I put the gold uh, dimensional this is scribbles and they're pointy again but that's okay put stickles around it too but I just oh oh and look I put um can you see the glossy accents on the eyes doesn't that look cool but see I stenciled stars in the background like kind of after it was down so see how they're on the piece and so it kind of I was thinking more of a mixed media piece to kind of blend it down into the I did the same thing on the hearts I put hearts like on top so I mean I like it but I don't know that it's necessary because you kind of take away from the jelly print patterns that you made you know if you do too much extra on there but I love him how he turned out okay then I did this owl and this is the owl that I learned from Kate Crane and she's an English lady <laughs> um, and I took that class with her uh, journal soup and so I knew I wanted to put a little owl on here and he's dancing so I put little music notes I just drew them on I used to outline everything I used a couple things I even used I used my uniball vision I love this one I used my food food a ball probably not as much I think I used the uniball vision and definitely my um where are they my Posca, I think I left them in the other room, my Posca paint pens. And those are the, I use the fine point ones. Um, put a little bit of, um, look at this. What are they called? Micro beads. My micro beads. These are um, the Michaels brand. The green. Uh, I just kind of used a little glossy accents. Sorry, I was getting, clearing my desk off a little. And just kind of, because I had already made a ground with like, I shaded it, but I just put a little extra, little green down there. I don't know, I could have made it any color probably. But I tried to stay within, like for the background, I stayed blue and green. Well, this is a little purple actually. Oh, sorry. Sorry. All right. So he's dancing, my owl. I like him. I think I put glossy accents on his beak. And then, look at this one. I was originally thinking I was going to put, um, remember my journal page that I did the house with the tree and the clouds? That's what, and this is a, the, the biggest spot on here. I thought I was going to do that, but then I thought I want to do a B-Skep. And I love how it turned out. Yeah, I, my copper kind of got gloopy over here, but look at this copper colored. I have the metallic micro beads and I've never used them. Here they are. Whoops, I've never used the copper. But this is from Michaels. They have two sets that I know of. Um, so I just thought I'd make some honey dripping out of the hive. Isn't that cute? Little this the stamps, the bees and the snail are stamps. They are lawn fawn. This is the little bee mine. It's from, from a couple years ago at least, 2012. And this one is, this is a newer one I think, called um, Gleeful Gardens. And I used this flower and I used the big snail. And I love lawn fawn stamps, they're so cute. And all I did was just stamp him on blue paper and to make them kind of slimy, I put glossy accents on him. These flowers are all punches that I just, it's so easy. You just take the color you want and you punch and it's the basic, who's this by? EK Success Flower and this little um, EK Success Flower and put them all around. The, the um, leaves for this are little hearts, the Martha Stewart heart punch. Just didn't feel like drawing them. I just punched them. It was awesome. Or cut, fussy cutting. So I just made them out of the green, same green paper that I used for the um, grass. And then I did that trim again up here. And stickles are the little bees. I To get the bees to face the other way, I just drew them. Or no, I um, stamped them. I stamped these, the ones facing that way, 
the regular way and then I stamped them I flipped the paper over and then I just had to draw their little faces super cute they turned out so cute but that snail just kills me but yeah I like how that I like it I really like so far I like all that now my cat and you know I love my cat but this gave me trouble I went back and forth and back and forth I want them to go zoom out a minute like I added this and then I thought I didn't have to make it scalloped I could have just made a strip and you know like I have to play around and realize that like I can do anything you know anyway but I did scallop it and I like scallop but I kind of wish it was straight I don't know um, and I put the turquoise dimensional paint um, the scribbles up there but no I was gonna say this green I wanted to pull more green because I didn't really have the light green I love this piece anyway um, so I just put that there and I think it did what I wanted I try to go in threes like pink 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 yellow 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 green 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 so like I try to you know it makes your eye eh, the, I'm not you know whatever um but anyway so for him the only thing was this is such a dark background and then I used a fairly dark color for the cat that I think is a mistake you really have to make sure your your colors contrast at least that the, you know that they're going to be able to see like that is perfect like you can see everything I mean that's still even a little dark on dark um, but anyway so I traced him all in white I went I mean not, not traced him um, outlined him in white didn't like that outline see because you can kind of see how his face and I love his face it turned out so cute look he looks like he has a bottom lip but I did it in white and black and blue. I did so many and I was just like, stop. So um, he's amazing. He's the cutest little cat and he's looking over here at the bird. This is the butterfly stamp or punch, I mean. The Martha Stewart punch. See, I have all these paper crafts and I, I'm not gonna make, I probably won't do as many paper crafts anymore. So that's why I'm so excited about mixed media. Like you, I'm gonna, I want to pull in those supplies that I have, you know. Um, and here's the little flower that was, it just kind of looked plain down here. And look, microbeads. Oh, you can't see. There's the flower and microbeads. I put green microbeads because he didn't really have any floor. But he's so cute. I just, I just think I regret that it, that it isn't more of a um, contrasting color, but he's still cute. I was just going with the blue and green. And then, <clears throat> sorry, I have a lot of stuff in my way. My fishy. OMG, you guys. So, I was so exhausted last night. I had this, two, I think I had two things left empty. And my cat was on there, but I hadn't done much else with it. And I showed the kids, and Maddie said, this looks like water, the way it's like it was swirling. And um, I had st or, um, stenciled the white dots on there. So he's like, it looks like water. That's an I said, there you go. Because I didn't know what I was going to put here. <clears throat> and I just got totally inspired by my little polymer clay votives. So here's the um, coral. And I just put... Um, some dimensional gold little, you know, corals. Really, it has holes in it, but anyway. And my, um, oops, my micro beads. I put micro beads on there. I just love using micro beads. They are so cool. Um, I mean, there's so much more I could put. Bling, you could put metal pieces. You can put whatever you want. But um, this little fishy, I kind of combined a couple different designs of the like little drawings that I do and I just want to see if I have um, sitting right here like here's what I used for the coral so all I do is flip it over and draw the coral on the back and then like see I, and you can even see where I didn't like the shape of how I drew it so I cut it different and then you have your coral out of the color of paper that you wanted um, what else? Here's my seaweed. So I just, I didn't even, um, no I did, I drew them. 
Yep. I kind of fit, figured out how big, how tall they needed to be. And then I drew them on there and then cut them out of the green. And I cut my leaves. I just freehanded these. I didn't draw them. I just cut little teardrop shapes. Um, this is what I used for the, some of the um, leaves on the B-Scap one. And this is the scallop paper. What else? Um, this is all the gold. So I have butterflies, my bird, the B-Scap. So say here's the drawing. Can you see the pencil lines? And then when I'm cutting, I kind of adjust. See, I, I just draw it on the back of the paper in a spot like I kind of decide if I like the pattern on the front and then just flip it over. Um, so yeah, so for the fishy, I did the same thing. Of course, it's going to point the other way. Whatever way, if you're turning it upside down, like when I do my letters, I'll show you. But, and then I use glossy accents. Look at the, can you see that the bubbles, yeah. See that some of the like white marks, I put glossy accents to make it look like bubbles. And I did a couple over here. I just think it turned out so sweet for some reason. And I did that trim again. And there we go again in threes, right? So look, one, oops, sorry, I can't, I'm looking at the camera. One, two, three. But just to have that color. Um, yeah, I really wanted to put something under the hearts and I didn't know what to put so I just put the dots kind of played on the copper that was over on the B scap but I mean it, it's fine um, so then we have my birdie and he's just basically the same bird I do on my ATC's that I've done on the canvases I gave him a tail feathers and a little hair head feathers a little cheek I just put some very soft pink stickles on his cheek and these are those freehanded leaves I cut. I painted the branch, which I could have put a piece of paper, but I didn't have any brown like right there. So um, we don't do a lot of brown jelly printing. That's a, I should do that. Um, if I'm going to continue to do this, I will, because it's just you need to have a palette of paper, you know. Um, so that's pretty basic. Didn't do anything special. Uh, I just um, glossy accented his beak, so he has a shiny beak. And then last but not least, art. I just did it again. I cut a piece of purple because I wanted to bring purple, purple, purple. I needed, I don't know, I just, that was the one color. I didn't want to put yellow or green or anything. So anyway, green probably would have looked pretty. That's where I could have done, the, eh, but it was green, green. Anyway, um, flipped it over, and then you just got to write your letters backwards. So I brought over... Um, a stamp set and flipped it over so I could look at the letters backwards and then I just wrote them backwards on the back of the purple paper pa purple paper and then cut them out and then put them on there and I love it I love how it turned out and um put the perfect or the liquid pearls for little polka dots I got a smudge and that is basically it oh and I actually um, I outlined everything with black my black um, uh, Either I used, it depends, I did. I used mostly for the, especially the big lines, like I outlined every block with black. And that's what makes it feel like it's like a stained glass piece or something to me. All that black. This is so cute, you guys. Look at that little snail. All right, so I'm pretty happy with it. And I mean, this is mine. It's for me. <clears throat> I'm not selling it. I'm just going to have it in the, in the art room, in my in my craft room and um, it was just fun and see that's what I do I go big or I go home like seriously that little house that was not like you should see my very one of my very first mosaics I did is huge it's in my bedroom and it's bigger than this desk I would say it's like about three feet by four feet it's huge my husband made it the mirror it's a frame and it's so plain like it's I'll take a picture of it and maybe post it on, um, I'll post it on my, um, Facebook page, but it's huge. It took me, oh man, so long. And I have a piece that I haven't finished yet. It's a chest, um, that I was going to make for Maya and all the design is on there. It's a princess with a castle and a hill. It's so cool. And I haven't finished it and it's just sitting there unfinished. So I should, I should definitely finish those, but, um, it's a lot of work. Those, the real glass mosaics are are a lot of work, and I get cut. <laughs> 
but working with paper not so bad I mean you can get paper cuts but um yeah so I like it so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do on the back do I want to add paper it's just gessoed right now um, and then I just painted the edges black and um, basically it's sealed with matte medium and I don't think I'm gonna do anything more to it because which is maybe not not smart because it, it might need to be sealed with something but I have all this dimensional um, texture and stuff on it now and I think if I put other mediums on top of the glitter and the you know the different stuff it won't have the same effect so let me know what you think if you guys those of you who would like to try this technique I can come up with a couple of different patterns for this. I really love the moon. I would love to do this with you guys. Um, I guess we could do a cat because I've had a couple requests for um, the cat that I did in my art journal. It's the same exact guy. He is so cute. Oh my god. He really turned out cute. I love his pink nose. Like, I'm sorry. It's cute. I mean, cutesy, right? Someone's going to put... Oh, it's so coloring book. <laughs> I don't care. I like it. It's whimsical. Um, to each his own. Change the channel. Don't watch. Uh, <laughs> sorry. By the way, you guys, I love you guys. You guys leave me such great comments. Like, I happened to mention the sniffing comment at the end of my last video, and... I got so many, you guys are so wonderful to me, and it's so weird, why do we focus on that one, literally one negative comment, you know, and I get 20 good comments, and I'm like all upset about the sniffing comments, so it's it's kind of ridiculous that we do that to ourselves, but um, anywho, um, I do appreciate it, so you guys, um, but anyway, so let me know, like I said, um, I don't know that I want to do the owl, because hello, um, I learned that in a class, and I don't know if that's copyright stuff. I'm like, I could actually, I could, um, I'll email her. I could email her because he's so cute. Um, I could definitely do the B scap because that's mine. The fish, we could do, and the bird, we could do, we could do whatever, or come up with something that you think would be cute to put on here. I mean, it could just be abstract. We could do graffiti. Someone mentioned that this, my house, which is, oh, it's over there. But it looked like graffiti. Like, we could just do words. And, I mean, I'll have to figure something out. But um, I definitely want to do, I'm going to do a couple more of these pieces because they're super fun. This was a lot of work, though. It was. But it's mine. So, it's good. I'm good to go. Oh, I signed it. Yay. I did sign it. Sarah 2016. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.